Welcome everyone. We are all witnessing a technological revolution in the financial services industry. The scale and pace of change in financial transactions, growth of data coupled with emerging technologies often lead to innovation and new business models. In addition, the convergence of cloud, artificial intelligence and data are strong foundations to reshape the future of the financial world. I'm Somesh Chablani, head of go to market for the capital markets division at FIS. Today, we have a remarkable panel of senior leaders and experts representing both FIS and our data partner Snowflake to share their views and perspectives on the topic transforming compliance data on Snowflake. I'll be moderating today's panel discussion and let me introduce our panelists. Patrick Donahue, he's the head of data strategy at Capital Markets FIS. Uh, with him, we have Patricia Mitchell. She's the SVP and CTO of all our compliance solutions. Accompanied by Patricia is Nathan Call, who heads all our rec tech solutions at Capital Markets FIS. And also we have Brian Lenker, who's the field CTO for the financial services at Snowflake. With that intro, I'll tee off the discussion starting with Patrick. Patrick, can you give us a little background on how FIS and Snowflake came together? Sure, Samesh. Uh, you know, first I'll say that FIS has been partnered up with Snowflake for, a snow for some time now, but from the, from the capital markets perspective specifically, we took a step back and looked at the, the dynamics of what's driving the marketplace. And there are really three things that go into our capital market strategy. Uh, they're cloud modernization, uh, data access, and innovation. So that first one, cloud modernization, is the ability to harness the really the near infinite capacity and elasticity of the cloud. And that enables us to solve really what is the probably the biggest problem facing companies today, which is that second part, data access. How to make it easier to help our clients access the data that they have and put it to use. And then that unlocks the third part of our strategy, which is innovation. So when you combine the cloud with the data, you empower value creation at a pace we've really never seen before. So to answer your question, when we looked at the data platform providers uh, and which were best positioned to help us drive that strategy forward, um, who, are, who were the thought leaders, who had the experience we needed, and also who our clients were already using in their own operations, the clear answer for us in terms of a partner with Snowflake. Thanks, Patrick, for the insights. And I love the, uh, the three key levers driving transformational changes in the marketplace, which is cloud modernization, data access, and innovation. Let's extend the same question to Brian from Snowflake to, to share his perspectives on what Pat Patrick mentioned. Brian? Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, I love how a lot of Snowflake implementations um, really center around cloud migration and modernization. I remember actually going to Emerald, uh, your conference two years ago, and discussing all the possibilities that operating on a platform like Snowflake really offered. And Patrick mentioned one of them, but the, one of those core benefits is really around driving collaboration and data sharing. I mean, this isn't just a huge benefit for internal teams, but for our mutual customers, and they absolutely love this capability. They don't have to manage data pipelines, fetch data from APIs or deal with FTP sites. They literally just, you know, get the files, sign me up for that. It's, it's such a it's such a cool feature. Um, but I'd say this is also really about eliminating data, data silos. So by leveraging data sharing and by extension, the Snowflake Data Cloud, uh, participants get real-time access to that data and from the data owners with zero load time. So this is now extending into applications with the ability to share application code and logic. But getting back to the FIS side and the Snowflake partnership, it really comes down to making a stronger environment for our customers. And I know there are a lot of examples where FIS is pushing new frontiers. So I don't want to steal Patrick's thunder here or give out if I'm not supposed to. So maybe Patrick, I can kick it back to you and ask you if you're willing to share a bit more insight. No, that's great, Brian. And Brian, Brian's right. There are so many examples right now of this right now in capital markets. And each of those is really fit for purpose to help our clients stay ahead of that technology curve. I'll, I'll, I'll blow through a few real quick and then we'll we'll dive into some of them more deeply in, in, in this in this this time. But there's certainly a trading compliance manager, which you're going to hear more about from Nate today. And so I won't steal his thunder. Uh, another example is Integrity SaaS, where clients were you know, previously limited by the daily extract structure. 
But by moving that over to Snowflake and leveraging data sharing, clients have direct access now to the data they need. Plus, we're beginning to layer on that innovation with improved analytics. Uh, you may have also heard about the, uh, ESG, the, excuse me, the FIS Climate Risk Financial Modeler, which is an exciting solution in the ESG category that's powered by Profit SaaS and ESG data and Snowflake. There's also Private Capital Suite and the Investment Data Platform, which are all about simplifying and expanding access to that suite of investment data from multiple applications and then bringing that together onto Snowflake with an integrated data model. And that's helping clients increase efficiency and expanding the, the, the value possibilities with all, with all that data inside of Snowflake. So that's just a few examples of really probably like a dozen different projects we have going in capital markets right now to enhance our data solutions. Thanks, Patrick. I love what Brian mentioned. It's all about eliminating data silos by leveraging data sharing, real-time access data, and zero, uh, zero downtime. Uh, as Patrick mentioned about the different FI solutions, as a gentle reminder to our audience, you can download information about the FIS compliance suite or any other FIS solutions from our website, FISglobal.com. Uh, as Patrick talked about compliance, one of our key flagship solutions is the FIS compliance suite. So turning the question to Nate or Nathan Call. Uh, Nate, can you tell us more about this exciting solution, the FIS compliance suite? And more importantly, how is it addressing regulatory needs? Yeah, the FIS compliance suite is a component of the trading and asset services arm of FIS. We focus on regulatory compliance, right? surveillance, communication surveillance, anti-money laundering, and regulatory reporting. In other words, we help financial institutions comply with industry regulations from organizations such as the Securities and Exchange Commission in the United States, and the European Securities and Markets Authority in Europe and others. Now, why do we care? Well, for today's context, we care for two reasons. Number one, anyone who has ever opened a bank or a brokerage account or ever made a financial transaction has likely been part of some regulatory compliance review, although most of us never really know a review is happening because it's all behind the scenes. And number two, specifically for today's conversation, the data volumes and processing demand for these compliance reviews and reports can be rather intense. So the technology we use to build the compliance systems can really make or break them. Nate, we, talk, we heard you talk about data volumes and everything is about make or break. Uh, how does Snowflake fit into the entire compliance suite story and you have you have been the architect and have seen the evolution but could you touch upon more about uh, how did snowflake start getting integrating into our compliance suite yeah to comply with regulatory compliance rules financial institutions must review and report every order route and trade that flows through their systems for some regulations, it's incumbent upon the financial institution to detect and prevent illicit activity. And for other regulations, the financial institute is required to submit their data to the regulator for them to review and analyze. In both cases, the data volumes and the processing loads are significant. In fact, the industry volumes have been north of 60 billion records a day. On the institutional trading side of our business, we've been managing three different applications. One of them runs on SQL Server, another on Sybase, and a third runs on Hadoop. SQL Server and Sybase simply can't handle the volumes that we're talking about. Hadoop has been pretty good at handling the volumes, but it's slow, and the Hadoop ecosystem is complex with all of its modules and components. All of those applications are coming together into one platform that runs on Snowflake, where we gain a volume advantage over the SQL Server and Sybase applications, and we gain a speed and simplicity advantage over the Hadoop application. In fact, some of the performance gains that we've experienced have been almost hard to believe. We're about halfway through that migration and the end result is compelling. Our systems run faster on less hardware and our severity one and two incident count has dropped 68%. So FIS is happy with the reduced resource consumption and our customers are happy with a faster, more stable product. Thank you, Nate. With the marriage of hardware and software, it's all about mm -hmm. speed and scale. And uh, you shared a very important statistics about 60 billion uh, volume of data. Indeed, data is the new currency. <laughs> so turning the question to Patricia or Patty. Uh, Patty, as, I, as we all understand that you are leading a lot of the development efforts for our RegTech solutions within capital markets at FIS. Nate talked about the improvement in performance and, uh, and 
how he's seeing more and more changes in the metrics. Could you, for the benefit of our audience, touch more or add color on the performance metrics and share any additional insight from a CTO perspective? Sure. So as Nate mentioned, this project um, involves migrating three products onto our new platform on Snowflake and AWS. All three products face significant performance issues on the legacy technology stacks. On the new platform, we are now processing over a billion transactions a day in a fraction of the time that we could previously. The client data loading process runs approximately seven times faster than it was running on legacy. Once the data is in Snowflake, we have seen a four to five X improvement in batch processing times for most clients. We have also significantly improved the performance of the error correction process by a factor of four. On the Hadoop platform, we struggled to meet our daily SLAs on high volume days and regularly came close to the 8 a.m. submission time for our FINRA cutoff. Now we are finishing processing by 2 or 3 a.m., well ahead of the 8 a.m. regulatory deadline. We process up to a billion transactions on high volume days without issue. And also we are seeing consistent performance and due to Snowflake's virtual warehouse capabilities, we are no longer having issues where one client's batch processing impacted the performance of other clients' batch cycles. Moving to Snowflake and AWS has allowed us to scale when we face increased volumes on, due to market spikes and still meet our SLAs with times to spare. The performance and scalability improvements on the new platform have made a huge difference in the FIS team that is supporting the platform in production and, we, and also has resulted in improved client satisfaction. Great, it's all about client centricity. Thank you, Patty. Um, maybe a follow-up question to you again, Patty. Uh, I heard you talk about consistency, you know, data accuracy, making sure it's all about reporting, reg meeting all the regulatory reporting needs and ensuring everything is within SLA. So big kudos to you and Nate and, and Patrick and the broader FIS team, including Snowflake. Uh, the follow-up question is specific to, without going into bits and bytes, can you help us paint a system topography uh, on how does this all look like in this interesting complex environment? How have you simplified this? Sure, so the migration to the new platform not only involved moving to Snowflake, but we also migrated from FIS private cloud to AWS. Some of the ETL processing of client data is still happening in FIS private cloud, and the output files are encrypted and moved to S3 um, buckets in AWS. From the S3 uh, buckets, the, the data is ingested into Snowflake. The functional logic is implemented in Snowflake leveraging dynamic compute. Um, we are using a combination of SnowSQL CLI, Python scripts, SQL programming, Scala, and Spark for processing the data. We, we are using Astronomer's Astro platform, which is built on top of Airflow for pipeline orchestration. And we are using, a, for our BI tool, we are using Tableau for reporting, dashboarding, and data analytics. And the web tier is built, is built using C Sharp and Angular. Thank you, thank you, Patty. Uh, flipping the question from one CTO to the other, uh, Brian, from a Snowflake perspective, I'm sure Snowflake team has contributed significantly to what Paddy mentioned. Do you want to add more color or insights for the benefit of our audience? Definitely. Yeah, we work really closely with FIS on, on architecture decisions, you know, including our own professional services team as well as other service integrators. I mean, this, this can include recommending some of those tools that Patty mentioned around orchestration, transformations, as well as troubleshooting and optimization. There's there's hundreds, if not thousands of partners that exist in our ecosystem, so it's really important that we, we work together. But I'd say one of the inter interesting things about being a SaaS company born in the cloud is that we can develop and iterate on features incredibly quickly. So our, our partners like FIS frequently help impact our development roadmap. And I'm mentioning this because we are rapidly making features available, like LLM integration, running containerized applications, integrating transactional workloads, and there's a bunch more, but just to name a few examples. So knowing about these types of features, it's really important as we determine an architecture roadmap to help meet those SLAs and reduce total cost of ownership. Um, probably even more important is honestly having stakeholders like Patty who are just incredibly involved in, in this process. Thanks, Brian. I really appreciate all the rich insights and perspective from all our panelists. And as we come to the end of this discussion, 
I want to ask each one of you, how do you see the trends and, and more innovation in your respective function, business, or the marketplace? And what does the fu near-term future hold? Uh, starting with uh, Patty. Sure. So the, the FIS compliance suite was really the first team to bring clients live on the new Capital Markets data platform powered by Snowflake. Um, and as, as Patrick mentioned, several other products are now live in production on that platform, which is very exciting for FIS. And we have other teams at various stages of POC work, data migrations, client testing, and prod readiness activities. With each of these separate initiatives and use cases, we are working closely with our partner Snowflake to build capabilities into the data platform and establish reusable patterns to accelerate the time to market for future projects. We have already seen the benefit of this for some of the recent teams who are bringing their products onto the, pro onto the um, capital markets data platform. And we are really looking forward to the next steps involving layering AI on top of the data that we, that we already have in Snowflake and bringing additional value to our clients. Uh, we're, we're pretty excited to have our trading compliance manager be one of the first products out of the gate on this technology. And we have big plans for it in the compliance space. We look at it this way. With a reliable, responsive mechanism for data storage and processing, we can come clean on our vision of a consolidated regulatory compliance platform. That's step one. Help financial institutions to meet regulatory obligations from one central system. Now, while that work is ongoing, and since the compliance landscape is constantly shifting, that work is never really done, we're also looking at ways to make the system smarter using machine learning models. I could spend a whole session talking about what we have going on there. And finally, because of the amount and type of data we're now collecting, normalizing, and storing, we expect to receive some what I will call regulatory dividends from the system that will provide value beyond the compliance department. Yeah, I just want to kind of underscore some of the things Nate was talking about there that as we pan pan back and look across the solution set within capital markets, like none of that innovation, the AI, the ML, it really any that's possible, right, without access to the data. So that's where FIS has been focused in terms of our strategy to make the right investments in the tech stack and to help our clients to compete and win in, in, the, in their marketplace. So no matter what the, the next wave of innovation is, right now it's AI engine AI, uh, there'll be something after that, right? And that's where our partnership with Snowflake is so important to future-proof our strategy and ensure our, our, our customers' current and future success. You know, and I mentioned a few features that we're coming out with, uh, but the two that I'm personally most excited about are native applications and LLM integration. So both of these are really huge benefits for our customers since this means bringing these capabilities to your data and not the other way around. So no need to ship your data around to these different providers and external systems. So as Patrick mentioned earlier, having a solid data strategy is paramount to enable these features. Thank you, Brian, and thanks everyone. So today we have talked about the FIS compliance suite and specifically the compliance manager, our flagship product, how we are leveraging our Snowflake data platform and the overall relationship with Snowflake and how it has progressed in improving performing metrics. And as Patty mentioned, it's all about enhancing the client experience. Again, thank you to all our panelists to provide great insights and perspectives on today's topic transforming compliance data on Snowflake. To me personally, it is very evident that change and disruption is inevitable, which in turn transforms into new business model and creation of new solutions and new needs for our uh, clients, as well as meeting all our regulatory needs and pressures. Thank you to all the audience for tuning in and listening to today's conversation. Again, as a gentle reminder, you can download information about all our FIS solutions from our website, FISglobal.com. If you have any specific questions or want to learn more about our FIS solution offerings, please send us an email to getinfo at FISglobal.com. Again, G-E-T-I-N-F-O, getinfo at FISglobal.com. This concludes today's panel discussion, and we hope to see you again soon for another insightful discussion. Thank you.